Hey guys, so we're in line for our COVID-19 vaccines. Vaccination 2021. Shot number one. More and more people are lining up to get their COVID-19 vaccines. Over half of all U.S. adults have received at least one shot. Hey guys, we're on our way to get the second vaccine, vaccine, Pfizer. So we'll keep you posted on our side effects, how we're feeling after. As they do, many are now also sharing their side effects. And some, I had a tiny headache and a tiny little red spot on my arm, are more common than others. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little bump right above my left clavicle. So what side effects should people expect after getting their shots? And when is it important to seek medical attention? I can't really lift my arm like past my shoulder, but that's it. Side effects like this, pain and redness in the arm where a person received their shot, are the most common. Dr. Kutika Kupali says they can even be a good sign. So the reason for the symptoms is really because your immune system is revving up to develop those good antibodies that you need to help fight off the coronavirus if you were to come into contact with it. So basically it's like a training for your immune system. Yeah, that's a really good way to think about it. Headaches, chills, fever, nausea, body aches, and in some cases, even vomiting or diarrhea are normal, if a bit unpleasant. I have been running to the bathroom. I feel like my body's shutting down. People getting the two-dose vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna may also feel different from one dose to the next. Many report feeling worse after the second shot. Second COVID vaccine, the Pfizer shot, has me in the bed. The second time you get the vaccine, your body's already experienced developing some of the antibodies. So your antibody response is going to be much higher. And so that's why those symptoms you develop are going to be a bit stronger. But again, this isn't everyone. Doctors still don't have enough data to say one dose carries more severe side effects than the other, and whether the experience is different for people who've had COVID. I was getting a little bit concerned, but I figured this was just an enlarged lymph node. So some of the less common side effects that we've seen of the vaccine have been uh, what we call lymphadenopathy or enlarged lymph nodes. Though rare, this swelling tends to happen on the same side of the body as the injection. It's a sign that your immune system is working. And, you know, you might notice when you get a cough or a cold, you get enlarged lymph nodes in your neck. Also rare are cases where patients have reported heart issues temporary paralysis to one side of the face, or serious allergic reactions resulting in rashes and difficulty breathing. This is one of the reasons we have people wait after they get their uh, vaccine. Put an eye on you for 15 minutes, okay? Okay. Between now and then, if you feel anything outside ordinary, please honk your horn. I want to come over, take a look, and make sure you guys are okay. What's not normal is having a runny nose, cough, or sore throat after getting the vaccine. If you had those symptoms, I would be worried that you had some sort of upper respiratory infection or possibly even COVID. So I would recommend getting tested. Typically, any side effect starts to get better within a day or two of getting vaccinated. After that, Dr. Kupali recommends people seek medical attention. Also, if they have things like difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, swelling, things that would be considered emergencies. One of the more worrisome adverse events reported recently is a very rare type of blood clot several women experienced after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. More than 7 million people in the U.S. have gotten this vaccine. It really is one in a million um, people that have had this event. U.S. regulators recommended temporarily pausing vaccinations using J&J's shot. An advisory panel has since recommended its use resume. And the company said it would add a warning to the label about the risks for rare blood clots, similar to what was done in Europe. What are some of the things that people should do in order to dampen their their side effects? I would try to um, schedule time to just kind of have a mellow day, right? So you don't know how the vaccine's going to affect you. But Dr. Kupali says, don't worry if you feel fine. The vaccine is still working. People over 55 typically experience fewer side effects, possibly because the immune system gets weaker with age. I don't want people to think, oh, if I don't have a side effect, that's a bad thing. Um, You know, people's bodies are different as well. Don't be afraid to get the vaccine. Everyone reacts differently. Me and my sister did not have any symptoms. That doesn't mean you won't, but in the end, it's better than COVID.